Hey there, I'm Benjamin from Love Starter, and in this video we're going to cover what's new in Google Ads. This month, Google AdWords officially became Google Ads. Apart from the rebrand, we're going to look at adding notes in our account and creating reports in Google Sheets. We're also going to briefly cover changes to the Keyword Planner, goal-optimized shopping campaigns, and outstream video ads. You'll also notice Google has been tweaking the new Google Ads interface so it's easier to use and quicker to find the tools and reports you're looking for inside your account. Let's head to Google Ads and check out the newest features and changes. If you haven't logged into your account for a few weeks, then the first thing you'll notice is the new Google Ads branding. This has replaced the previous Google AdWords branding. Everything should be familiar though if you've been using the new version of the interface for a while. Let's start by looking at notes. This is a little bit like the annotations feature in Google Analytics. You can add details to the changes and optimizations you've made to your campaigns in order to provide additional context when you or other people review the account and are analyzing results. You can add notes at the account, campaign and ad group levels inside Google Ads. There are three ways you can add notes. Let's click a point on the graph and then select Add Note. We can then add details to the note and click Save. A small dot will appear to indicate there is a note and we can hover over this to see the details. The note I've added is for the account, but you can drill down to an individual campaign or even an ad group to add notes at the different levels. You can also add notes by opening the Notes panel. To do this, click More below the graph and then select Open Notes panel. This is also a good way to view notes that have been added to your account. And the final way you can add notes is to select rows of campaigns or ad groups and then select Add Note. That's it. It's easy to add and view notes in Google Ads. The next thing I wanted to show you is the add-on for Google Sheets. Let's head to Google Sheets to take a look. I love Google Sheets. If you're interested to learn more about Google Sheets, including tips on visualizing data, then check out my blog post covering Google Sheets tips. You can find a link in the description below this video. Okay, so back to Google Ads. There are different ways to access the data for your campaigns. You can, of course, view data inside your Google Ads account. You can download your data and you can use Google Data Studio and Google Sheets. The Google Sheets add-on is really just giving you another way to access the data from your campaigns. So the way you choose to report and analyze on the performance of your campaigns is up to you. I'd recommend using the Google Sheets add-on if you want to combine data from Google Ads with other data. For example, if you have set KPIs for the number of conversions you're aiming to achieve from each of your campaigns. You could combine your KPI targets with the actual number of conversions from Google Ads to see how you're tracking towards your targets. To pull data from your campaigns into Google Sheets, you'll need to install the add-on. You can find a link to the add-on in the description below this video. Once we've installed the add-on, we can create a new report. The panel on the right allows us to configure the report. For example, we can create a report for all of our campaigns. Name the report, choose the columns or metrics we want to include, and then create the report. A new sheet will be added for our report. And it's easy to update the report too. Just select Add-ons, then Google Ads, and Refresh Reports. That's it. Now let's head back to Google Ads to look at a few more updates. The Keyword Planner has been updated to streamline the way you research keywords. On the left you can search for keyword ideas and on the right you can enter a list of keywords you've already researched for trends and forecasts. After you've searched using your initial keyword ideas, you'll see a list of suggested keywords.
The Keyword Planner now includes a sparkline showing you the 12 month trend for each keyword. This is useful for quickly spotting seasonality. To learn more about the Keyword Planner you can find a link to my tutorial in the description below this video. Finally, I wanted to mention two other updates, which are goal optimized shopping campaigns and outstream video ads. If you're advertising products from Google Merchant Center, you now have the option of leveraging Google's machine learning, which automates bidding and placements for your shopping campaigns. To use this feature, you'll need to create a new shopping campaign. And if you have at least 20 conversions in the last 45 days from your existing shopping ads, then you can select the Smart Shopping Campaign option. And if you're looking to extend the reach of your video ads, you can create Outstream video ads. They're just for mobile devices and they appear on partner websites. You'll find Outstream as an option when you create a new video campaign. So they're the most important new features and changes you'll find inside your Google Ads account. Have you used any of these new features inside your account? I'd love to know if you're using notes, creating reports in Google Sheets, using Outstream video ads or any of the other updates. Let me know in the comments below. There are more updates coming so expect more changes inside your account as Google continues to improve the experience and the interface. And keep an eye out for even more new features like responsive search ads. This is a new ad format that aims to automatically optimize the performance of your search campaigns. Responsive search ads let you enter multiple headlines and include increased character limits. So stay tuned for more updates. Are there any other new features you're using? Let me know. And if you found this video helpful, then please like it so I know to make more videos like this. See you next time.